Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome back. Um, I upload videos about mom lifestyle. And today I wanted to do something different. Like I wanted to share with all of you my top five favorite jeans. So many of us, we are a um, fan and a lover of jeans. And I was like, you know what? Why not share my top favorite jeans that I love and even after giving birth these jeans they fit perfectly and um, from buying a lot of a lot of jeans I learned how to shop for a perfect denim so I'm going to share my tips and hacks as well so that way you guys know um, how to purchase your perfect jeans or denim so let's get started I'm gonna start off with um, some of the tips that I learned from buying a lot of jeans so you guys I have an example here to show you all the hacks when it comes to the back of your jeans I have one pair here the second pair and then the third pair and I'm gonna compare all of these so that way you you know what I'm talking about so if you want your butt to look good on your jeans you want to make sure you pay attention to the yoke of your jean so when I say to the yoke of your jean is I mean this line do you see this stitching so we're gonna be talking about this one this small detailing small stitching over here they call it a yoke line so pay attention to this yoke line and to get the most flattering look for your jeans you want to always go for the soft V line over here see how this one has a really soft nice V shape so you want to make sure this line is not too straight like this one over here see how the yoke line over here is super straight you don't even see a v over here and how look how this one has a lot of spacing over here this one doesn't even have a lot of space so just pay attention to those so the yoke line is going to change how jeans are going to fit on your body so i typically feel like this jean is a lot more comfortable than this jean over here so by paying attention to this yoke line over here you're gonna change how your butt is going to look it's gonna look more flattering and it's just going to make your butt look a lot nicer and bigger to help you understand more on how to choose the v-shape make sure that the v-shape is positioned around the top part of your bum and the bottom of your back pockets and also your pockets should sit in the center and make sure the sizing of the pocket is not too big or too small it just needs to stay in the center of your butt cheek so that way everything is going to balance out and it's going to look really really nice so I know this is a very very small detailing over here but sometimes small things make a huge difference so let's take a look on this one so the V shape I don't see any V shape over here not even classic V shape like see the difference over here and then on this one I showed you this one which a big no when you are going to buy jeans and then let's let me show you this one this one does not even have any type of line it's very straight and the pockets are on top like super high and super big and there's no much space here I feel like the pocket is huge and this one makes my butt look really really flat actually and over the time i hated this jeans i had it for so long i had it when i had no idea how to buy for how to shop for jeans and this one i bought from top shop they are the johnny jeans and 
I just hate this one. Please do not buy this type of jean that does not have any type of yoke line on top. You're going to regret it because this makes my butt look really, really flat and I just don't like it. So I do have three comparison over here. So now you know what I mean with the yoke line and how the pocket's supposed to sit on your jeans. If you pay attention to all this detailing, your shopping for jeans is going to be a lot easier and stress-free. So basically, when I go shop for denim, the main thing I look is yoke, the pockets, where they're placed, and the zipper. Those are the three main things that I look for the jeans. So if everything looks perfect to me while I'm shopping for denim or jeans, I will go and try them on. And sometimes when I'm shopping online, let, let's say I did buy one of my made well jeans online and they still look perfect because I did pay attention to those details. And um, made well has a perfect pictures on their online uh, website and make sure like any brand you're buying they have like a nice picture that you can take a look at it closer and see and look at the detailing of your jeans and another tip that I have for you guys is I always look uh, for the jeans where they're made of like I am a fan of like made in Turkey items I think they have the most best quality that they that it's going to hold up for a longer time so those are the main things that I look for jeans and also when it comes to hemming I'm pretty short usually none of the jeans that I found is my height so I usually hem them or I roll it up like this this one I did not hem because I do like the bottom of this jeans how they look so I just rolled it up and now let me share my top five favorite jeans that I love the most. These jeans are 100% that I love, that I always, always go for this when I want comfort. The reason that I love these jeans are um, the quality of these jeans, the waist. Usually when I buy a lot of jeans, the back comes a lot loose and I don't like that. So this stays perfect. I feel like this jeans takes your shape and they are very stretchy as you can see stretchy and these are not too thin not too thick it's like a perfect material and this brand is from mother brand uh, they are super comfortable um the only thing is a little higher price on this one I bought it when they were on sale actually the yoke is perfect v classic shape that's what I want and then the pockets are in the center like you can see how this one has space over here and space over here so that way you can tell that it's in the center of your butt um, that's what you want anyways and then the pocket is not too big like other jeans how they have like a such a big big huge uh, pockets though the ones that they have huge pockets they're not flattering they're not going to make your butt look bigger or nicer um, just let you know and since i'm like a petite person um, pockets are really important for me the front has a nice zipper a really good quality zipper and the color is super super cute so this is my number one favorite my second favorite is the anthropology jeans and by the way, the mother jeans, let me tell you guys where they are made of, actually. So the, the mother jeans are made in USA. Such a really, really good quality. I love it. Um, second pair that I love is Anthropology. This one is my favorite. This one is like a flare jeans that is like flare in the bottom. Um, and then also I look in the back let me show you the back R super nice V yoke classic V shape as well pockets are in the center you can see it has a space over here again space perfect size pocket that I love and this denim also 
really really comfortable it's not a high-rise it's a mid-rise most likely but even a mid-rise jeans for me sometimes it's like a high-rise because I'm petite I have a short torso so this is a mid-rise but I feel like they they look more like a high-rise for me so perfect perfect jeans and for anthropology I am a size 25 they did not have the 25 size so I grabbed the 26 because they were on sale for $45 you cannot beat that price I wear these a lot they're perfect super comfortable and with a high with a little bit of heels these look super cute and I usually dress this up like a more of like a classy or casual because I feel like flared jeans you can wear them mostly classy they're gonna look bomb on you the anthropology jeans mostly they're made in turkey so this one is made in turkey i love made in turkey quality i wash this like 100 times anytime i wash them um they look like a new again and um this one does not have a zipper this one has like a button over here like a silver color i still love it it still looks really really cute and high quality see how this is See how this is super long and then you don't want this part to be super long otherwise it's not going to look cute it's gonna be crumbled over here and you don't want that so perfect and I just love how this sit on your body uh, another of my favorite is this made well jeans these are super super cute and the bottom is like this really really cute you don't need hemming for this and of course again we're gonna start from the back see how the v yoke on this one is a lot deeper the other two that i showed you were uh, a lot more classic but this one has a lot more deeper v kind of shape not bad for me personally this pocket looks a lot wider on top um i do not like that usually but with this vintage type of jeans i think i am fine with this as long as this jean like the pockets are in the center that's what matters so you have space over here space over here and these are in the middle for me it's a little big the size of pocket but that's okay it's not like huge huge um but overall these jeans are really really cute it's going to give you that vintage vibe and i just love 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 jeans these are not stretchy and these are from made well made in vietnam so yeah not bad when it's made in vietnam usually made well makes a really good quality jeans that i love 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 they are a little higher price made well but sometimes they do have a sale where you can grab them. I did not buy this from sale, so it was a little too expensive for me. But having a winter jean, it's really, really hard to find. Unless sometimes if you can find it from thrift stores. As long as you keep all these hacks and tips that I showed you guys, then I think you will be able to find your perfect pair from thrift stores. Then my another favorite is Gap jeans. These I grabbed because it was perfect in the back. The V section was perfect. And the pockets are a little big, but that's okay. See how the pocket is super long? Like, very long and big. I mean, it's okay. Um, sometimes when you find them like for a really really cheaper price then you're gonna be like that's okay sometimes and the zipper it's a really really good quality this is mid-rise this is not high-rise guys so if you're a person high-rise mostly wear high-rise you're not going to like it this is mostly like mid-rise and I really really like the color and the bottom of the jeans that looks really really cute and then also the other part that I like is the holes are not gonna be see-through they have another color material underneath the jeans so really really cute sometimes gap jeans are not 
that comfortable for me but this one was really really comfortable so that's why i grabbed this so these were on sale for 30 bucks and i was like you know what i'm just gonna grab them and these are most likely skinny and then the other my favorite is these are wide leg jeans these are super super wide you can see in the bottom um i just love these i feel like i feel really really comfortable in these and I just love them how they're loose and the quality of the material is super super soft but it's a jean it's a jean soft so again I always look at the bag the V looks perfect to me the pocket part I don't really like the pocket part you can see it's huge and it has a hole over here so usually I don't like this pocket how it has a hole when I, anytime I put my phone over here, uh, my pocket socket just gets stuck over here. Or anytime I put my keys, it gets stuck. I just don't like when it has a pocket like this. So avoid jeans where they have a lot of hole in them. Everything is going to be stuck over here. So try to avoid that. And then the front, the zipper is a good quality. It's a it's a really it's a little bit short for me because see how this one is super super long since this is a loose jeans i don't mind for it um if it would have been skinny jeans i would have like skipped at it because when it's tight over here it's gonna crumble a lot on this section so but other than that these jeans are super super cute I did buy them from ASOS, it's a River Island brand um, and these are made in Turkey as well and super super good quality. After washing them uh, for so many times, like I don't wash my jeans a lot, but I had this for like 3 years now and the color is fading but I still love how the color faded. See, the color was like this, you can see in the pockets. And then it turned out to be like this, like summery color. I love it. I don't mind when, when you wash the jeans and when the color just fades a little bit. It's okay. I think that's the beauty of jeans. And that's what I have for today, guys. Hope this video was helpful. And good luck for finding your perfect denim and jeans because these are going to serve me for like 10 or 20 years. But I love this the most. These are my top favorite jeans that I have over here. I shared all of my hacks and tips with you guys. Sometimes looking at the small details, it's going to make a huge difference. I hope everything what I shared today was really, really helpful and educational for all of you guys. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. And if you have any questions, let me know. And subscribe to my channel, please. Show some love and share it with your friends and family. Stay safe, take care of yourself during this coronavirus. I know it's been really, really crazy. But take care of yourself and enjoy time with family. And I will see you next time.